Hello everyone, let's start with a new video of Magento 2 Marketplace Multi-Vendor Module. In the previous videos, we have shown you how admin can easily manage and configure the Marketplace module. So now in this video, we are going to show you how admin can easily manage sellers and their commissions and how admin can easily pay commission to the sellers and view the remaining commissions or uh, total commission paid or view the transaction of the sellers from uh, the marketplace menu so let's start with this video at first we have to log into our admin panel so this is our demo admin panel so here we have to go to manage seller so here all the seller list will be displayed of our marketplace so here the seller id then the seller name seller email id or email address now the seller status then the phone number of the seller zip code country of the seller located then state and province now the website in which website the seller is registered now the seller sends the date of registration now the action in action you can uh, view the orders or you can edit the seller so now after action uh, there is a button to uh, deny the seller so these are our sellers uh, here is uh, John uh, John Deere his uh, email address now the seller status approved or disapproved then the contact information and uh, all the informations are displayed here uh, so if we click on uh, the action if we click on the order then we will get all the orders of uh, this uh, seller here is the order id then the purchase done then product name of uh, the purchase product now the quantity uh, to be paid or the quantity purchased now the product total cost then the total tax now total seller amount will be 80 uh, because 20% uh, is the commission and now the status is complete and paid status is pending uh, when it will be completed uh, then uh, admin can easily pay the seller and now the uh, view column here admin can easily view the order by clicking on this uh, order link so here is the order information you can view the uh, details of the order here is the shipping and handling information uh, track order link now the order details then the order totals and comments this is the uh, grand total and total paid so that's all for the order part now we'll go back to the order menu so but we don't need to go to the orders so here is the seller's order now uh, this is uh, a pay seller button uh, by clicking on this button the seller will be paid by the admin so admin can easily click on this button and the payment uh, can be done manually by the admin to the seller for uh, the purchases or for a particular order so admin can uh, also check the transaction of the sellers now we will uh, move to uh, that's all for the manage seller part now we will move to the manage commission part so here are different sellers and uh, their ids their uh, seller ids then the seller name commission rate there is no uh, such different commission for our sellers then the total sales received amount and then the commission amount remaining amount so here admin can easily check the remaining amount of the commission then the last paid 
last paid amount will be uh, can be seen here so if we click on p to do or a seller then uh, you can see the last login detail then the confirmed email then account created account created in which store view then customer group general then the billing address now the account information so here are the account information then the addresses these are the addresses now the orders of this particular seller so these are the orders of this particular seller now the billing agreement So here admin can uh, set the billing agreement. Now the wish list. Admin can view the wish list of uh, the partner. So but partner haven't added any product to the wish list. So that's all for the seller part. So here admin can easily uh, check the details of the payments received and commission amount and remaining amount or total sales of uh, the seller. Now we would go to uh, the seller's transaction. So here is the transaction IDs and the transaction details. Uh, this is the transaction uh, list all the transaction are been displayed here so here is the seller id then the transaction id then amount then type manual the type of payment manual then the method of payment manual and then created when it was created date of uh, the transaction admin can also select any of the records and admin can disapprove or approve the record so that's all for the marketplace seller transaction part now we will move to manage feedback so here all the feedbacks will be displayed so here is the id then the seller id price rating Price rating feedback from uh, the customers. Now the value rating in stars. Then the quality rating in stars. Feed summary. Here summary can be uh, displayed of uh, the feedback. Now the feed review. Here is the feed review. Now the status approved or disapproved. Admin can approve or disapprove the review for the seller. Now the created and modified so if i select any of the record and then i can approve or disapprove from uh, this drop down but i'll not do any changes in our store so that's all for the managing the sellers so now we will move to the sales part so here is the first menu orders so here all so here is the order uh, of the marketplace so admin can easily uh, select any of the orders and can select any of the action from uh, this drop down or admin can use the filters uh, for searching any of the particular order and here is the order details so admin can easily search uh, by using a filter so that's all for the order part now we will move to the invoices so here are the orders and their invoices so admin can easily uh, view any invoice or admin can select multiple invoices and can uh, generate pdf invoices 
Admin can use filter for the invoices. So that's all for the invoices. Now we will move to the shipments. Shipments are more or less same like the uh, invoices. So admin can view the shipments uh, from here and here is the details of the shipment. Admin can select multiple shipment and can generate PDF shipment or uh, print shipping labels. So that's all for the shipments. Now we will move to the credit memos. If uh, admin have generated or any seller have generated credit memos, then it will be displayed here. And here is the uh, status uh, that is refunded. So uh, the, here is the amount refunded. Now the order date, order ID created on the and now the credit memo ID. Uh, admin can view the credit memo from this link, or admin can select any credit memo and can pdf the credit memo generate the pdf of credit memo so that's all for the credit memos now the transactions here admin can view the transactions of the orders so that's all for the sales part so i hope you have understood how admin can easily manage sellers their commissions and pay commissions to the sellers and how admin can uh, easily manage uh, the sales and orders and their transactions and the payments, credit memos, shipment and invoices. So hope this video will be beneficial for your uh, Magenta 2 marketplace or multi vendor module. So thank you for watching this video. Stay connected.